Dave Bautista stars as hitman Joe Flood in Killer's Game, a film where Joe receives a terminal illness diagnosis and determined not to let his ex-girlfriend Macy, Sophia Batella, see him succumb to the disease, asks a longtime enemy to take out a hit on him. When a mix-up with his medical records reveals that Joe is not actually terminally ill, he tries and fails to call off the hit. Joe must then confront numerous adversaries, including an assassin played by Terry Crews, while revealing his double life to Macy. Reflecting on the role, Bautista, 55, tells people, I've never been, like, really a full-on leading man. You know, a guy who's kicking ass and getting the girl and saying cool stuff. I think Killer's Game might be the first time I've been the full version of a leading man. He also notes, nobody's really seen me have relationships on film, especially developing relationships on film. Not that this is the rom-com that I've been chasing, but there are a lot of romantic moments and there's a lot of comedic moments. Bautista teams up with director J.J. Perry, known for his work on, Day Shift, for this new movie. Bautista praises Perry, saying, I have never seen anyone as supportive of their crew on a movie set. Perry shares his vision for the film, stating, From my perspective, I actually didn't set out to make an action movie. I set out to make a love story that had a head-on collision with a full-on action movie. The movie, adapted from Jay Bonanzinga's 1997 novel of the same name, also stars Ben Kingsley, Tom Clementif, Scott Atkins, Marco Zaror, and more. A synopsis teases, when top hitman Joe Flood is diagnosed with a terminal illness, he decides to take matters into his own hands, by taking a hit out on himself. But when the very hitmen he hired also target his ex-girlfriend, he must fend off an army of assassin colleagues and win back the love of his life before it's too late.